Hey, second grade, Miss Shannon here with our science lesson for today. We will be observing our brassica growth or our brassica plant. So for this assignment, you will need your plant and insect notebook. The one labeled May, you used it on Friday for Friday's lesson. So the May science notebook we will use for our brassica plant. Um, the one labeled April, we will continue to use for our mealworm. So that's how you can keep both of them straight. So make sure you have that notebook with you before we begin. You also will want to have your brassica plant with you to do some observations. All right, here we go. I want you to take a look at this photo. What do you see in this picture? How did the plants get there? And how did the sidewalk habitat provide for this plant's needs? How was this plant able to grow in this environment? We're going to revisit this question in our next science lesson, but I want you to be thinking about how was this plant able to grow and survive in this environment? What do you think it needed in order for it to grow? I want you to take a look at your own brassica plant now, and you're going to observe it. Now, I planted mine, I think, two days before you all did. Um, so I am recording this on Friday, and you will be doing this on Monday. So hopefully um, your brassica plant might be at the same point that mine is right now on Monday. So take a look at your brassica plant, and depending on how well you covered your seeds with dirt, um, you may or may not be able to see some of the seedlings hatching. So, you know, it's hard to see. I wish I could show you a little bit better on the screen. But I can actually see um, the roots coming out of the seed pod. So um, if you are able to look carefully and see that happening, I might try to take a photo with it and insert it into the slideshow. So if you uh, see one, on the next slide, it's because I was able to take a picture of it, um, but it looks pretty cool. If your seed is covered up with dirt, don't worry about it. Don't disturb the seed by, you know, moving the, the dirt around. It just is if you're able to see um, your seed lean kind of coming out of the seed pod. So take a look at what you can see. What do you observe in your brassica planter? Now, all of us might be at a little bit different points depending on how well our brassica is growing. What colors do you see on your brassica plant if it is in fact already sprouting? Um, and what words do we use to describe baby plants? So we know with our mealworms that baby beetles or baby mealworms, those they are larvae, also known as a mealworm. So what do you think is a baby brassica plant called? A seedling. So right now we are looking at a seed. It is sprouting from a seed. And you will have three brassica plants growing. If you remember, we did plant three different seeds. So notice as you observe, if all three plants are growing at the same rate, are they all the same size? Are they at different um, points in their life cycle? So pay close attention to that as you're watching it grow as well. And lastly, what are the things that these young plants need to survive and to grow? Well, hopefully one of those answers was water. We should be watering our brassica plants on a regular basis to help make sure that they have enough water and nutrients to grow. Here is a photo of a few brassica plants that are growing. Now you can notice that um, the seedlings have sprouted up through the soil. And second graders, just for note, these brassica plants, they are growing under a special grow light. And this is recorded on day four. So we planted on Friday morning, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Tuesday morning would be our official day four. And I want you to compare and think about what your brassica seedlings look like 
compared to this photo. Now again, I said these are growing under a grow light, so they have more intense uh, uh, light that they are getting compared to mine is uh, just next to a window, which yours probably is as well. So we can use this as a comparison for how big our plants are so far. Okay, um, I planted my plants on Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I am on day three right now um, from when I'm recording this, and my seedlings are not, definitely not that tall yet. So some of you might be lucky, and some of us, we are still waiting for ours to, to sprout. This is a little close up picture. Now this isn't the same picture that I'm hopefully going to take of my own plants, but this is an example of a seedling sprouting. This is what's happening underneath the soil right now in your cup. And you might even be able to see it happening through the soil, pretty cool. And again, here is a picture of what your plant might look like on day four. Um, and above ground, what we can see is the stem elongating, which means growing like straight up as the plant reaches upward for light. So the plant is searching and growing towards the light. So it's going to try to grow up. And underground, what we can't see is uh, the roots growing downward and anchoring the seedling into the soil. So what we see is above ground, the stem and the seed leaves. Underground, the roots are growing deeper into the soil. And um, I already have the answer here, but we're gonna do a little check-in. Uh, look at this plant. You can see the roots of what would normally be under the ground, under the soil. Um, but it asks which part of the plant absorbs nutrients from the soil at this stage in the life cycle. Okay, so looking at uh, the seedling is growing, it's just starting to develop its true leaves up at the top, um, and its seed leaves are here at the side, and then of course the roots down below. So the roots are what is absorbing the nutrients from the soil right now to help the plant grow. So our focus question today for science is, how does a young plant change as it grows? So you were just able to see a few examples of how, how a seed sprouts into a seedling, and that at the beginning of the young plant's life, it is going to try to grow straight up towards the light. Okay? And then it will start developing its seed leaves, and then it's true leaves as it gets bigger. So in your science notebook, your page looks a little bit different and that is okay. Um, I believe on ours, it still says insect record. You are just going to cross that out and write plant record. We are um, observing plants for the month of May. So um, you can of course still include the date and the observations answering the focus question, how do young plants grow? You can draw a picture of what your brassica plant looks like now and talk about how does a young seedling grow. I will show an example on one of the next slides. Um, so if you need ideas or help, you can get some ideas from the next slide. Okay, so today your job is to fill in your observations for your brassica plant today. All right. Don't forget to check in on your mealworm make sure that it is happy and healthy. I know some of you last week had your mealworm turn into a pupa, so perhaps that happened for more of you over the weekend too. And just remember that this science unit involves a lot of observing and waiting, okay? So waiting for our plants to grow, observing and waiting for our mealworms to change into beetles. So part of being a scientist is observing with a careful eye, and that is what you all are doing this week. So thank you and be patient if you are still waiting for your seed to sprout. All right, thanks for listening in and I'll see you later.